Hey everybody, Mark Ignisi here again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back. It's the final episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo! For the week. Don't get overexcited. <laughs> Just the final Guitar of the Day for the week. Oh man. Jen yes. is actually currently walking around the sandy fields of Coachella right now. I am. <laughs> getting eagerly and, and very, very excitedly prepared for Beyonce, who I'm sure is going on stage in probably the next... Couple hours. A couple hours from now, when you guys are watching this, you're like, man, so Mark excited. seems to be wearing the same clothes a lot this week. Yeah, it's actually Wednesday, but <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I love I love doing two two of these in a day. I've got nothing else to do at home the night before. It's cool, Jen. Take as much time off as you need. Um, <laughs> again, still out of strats. That 58 strat we did on the last strat or day went, and we haven't gotten anything new since to replace it but and we've been doing a lot of gibson guitars in, in place of Stratterdays and telly tuesdays and people keep getting pissy about that so we'll keep it with the fenders how about something custom color no about something offset at the waist for all of you young hip kids out there oh yes <laughs> yeah, at least it's almost the weekend come on back check this out it was from 1965. this is original fender jaguar custom color olympic white Matching headstock, binding and dots on the neck. I love it. Oh yeah. That's great. Pretty clean. A little bit of honest wear on it, but man, that's pretty clean custom color right there. I love the pick guard. The tortoise shell guard, man. So I say custom color because it's not sunburst, which is what these came in. Again, we've talked about this a bunch of times. Some of you guys don't watch every day shame on you and some of you guys were probably high when we did it the last time so we'll go over it again <laughs> every guitar except for the fender telecaster came in sunburst tellies came in blonde every other guitar stratocasters jags jazz masters electric 12s bass six all that stuff jazz bass p bass all sunburst is a, the standard color on that so anytime you see them not in sunburst it's one of two things one it's either been refinished which happens. Or two, it is a truly bona fide custom color, which means you, uh, your dealer would have called for you. It's probably an extra 5%. And you get to pick from that list of custom colors that they were doing that year. That list kind of changed from year to year. Olympic white is one of the colors that was always kind of around. Um, now, this does go in some different ways. Some of these stay really, really, really true white. Some of them start to get that kind of buttery yellow um, color going to them. Again, that kind of is determined by one, whether it got clear coat sprayed on top of it or not. Some of the earlier 60s stuff stays that real snow white color because they didn't do the top coat. Once you do the top coat and then it starts to get some UV exposure, that's when you start to get that yellowing. As you see, it's kind of gone. All those still stayed fairly white. You start to get yeah. that kind of creamy white color um, as it ages. And then they start to get really yellow, especially if they get a lot of nicotine in bars and stuff. This was the top of the line model. Uh, that Fender did. They released it in 1962. This is a short scale guitar, 24 inch scale. Um, again, scale we're talking from nut to saddle. The playable surface of the string, although all the hipsters are like, oh, I'll play back here and put 15 delay pedals on. Oh, I'm a fucking artist. Um, <laughs> that's for you, Joe Bonamassi. Um, uh, so, what do we have? We've got a series of uh, their Jag UR pickups here, which are basically another single coil pickup, but you'll see they have these metal teeth kind of on the side right there, which make them a little bit different. You'll also see these in the base sixes. Um, we have this switch here, which is gonna be for the rhythm and lead circuit. Up is going to be the rhythm circuit, which will just be the neck pickup uh, with a cap on it. And then we have volume and tone on these wheels. Click it down into the lead circuit. Now we enact all these switches and doodads, which is gonna be a uh, on off for the neck pickup, on off for the bridge pickup. And then of course the treble bass shift switch. And then we have our volumes and tones down here. This little magical switch puts up your string mutes for all of your Herman's Hermit's playing needs. Most people leave that down. Um, binding on the neck, first year, 1965. This is one of the things that CBS added as soon as they took over. I say CBS because we were looking at an F plate 65 guitar. There are some 65s that still have 
the L series serial numbers or the L series guitars, those we still consider to be pre CBS. Once you see that F, we're talking a full on CBS guitar. One of the first things they did, add the binding on the neck. They did it on the jazz basses, they did it on the Jags, they did it on the Jazz Masters, they did it on the Electric 12s. Um, once we get into 66, we'll then see the addition of the block inlay markers. But this kind of transition period in 65 is the time where we get the binding in dots. All right, that's actually the one that they've been reissuing. And of course, on the custom colors, the matching headstock. Love a matching headstock on a custom color. Mm -hmm. So red. Oh man, oh, I love them in custom colors. Why don't we go out there, plug this guy in, see what kind of uh, hip and short scale sounds it makes. Put this week to an end while Jen goes off and does the... Yes. <laughs> one of those things. Let's go plug it in. Get the week to a close here. All right, we're out front. We have the 1965 Fender Jaguar, original custom color, Olympic white, matching headstock, binding and dots on the neck. Uh, we're going through just a uh, Fender 65 reissued deluxe reverb today. All he cues at noon, just a little bit of reverb. Also got an OCD just in case we need to get hairy. Uh, we're gonna bypass the rhythm circuit. We're just gonna go down to the lead circuit today. Let's hear what all these pickups can do. Uh, let's start with that neck pickup on its own all by itself here. Up on all by itself. Let's see what we got going on in the bridge. Pickups on at the same time. Wide freaking open. Let's see what we got going here.
Jaguar from 1965. Original Fender Jaguar, custom color, Olympic white, matching headstock, dots on the neck with binding on the sides, original hard shell case. There is another week of Guitar of the Day in the bag. 205 episodes, yeah. I believe, now. Look at us. Man, just moving right along. Lassie, <laughs> I'm looking for you, girl. Looking for you, girl. Hey, follow me on Instagram, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. Make sure you join us back here on Tuesday for another brand spanking new week of Guitar of the Day. You guys have a great weekend. See you next Tuesday. Peace. Bye. Beyonce. <laughs> yes. The desert. Yes.